Good morning, Rebbe. Happy belated birthday. And uh, let's go over to the Sifra Ditsniuta. And let's see what we can do with it. <clears throat> so we were coming around the corner here. Just a little... Uh, let me see. Uh, I just wasn't quite ready. Let's see. All right. Let's see where we can... Maybe we could just read across the top one time to get back into it. So he says uh, over here, Is Yachid Yud Belchudoi. So we had Is Yachid, Yachad. So he says Yud Belchudoi. So we had a, uh, an understanding that Yud becomes separated. Basar came Salak Bedargo, and then it starts going up and up. La Elo, La Elo, Is Chashvach of Nukva, Behish Chash Cha Nusqua. The Nukva becomes dark. Behish Nehiras Ima, and then uh, Ima. Lights her up, and Miss Patra Besaroy, and then she opens up. Now, with her gates, in her gates, something like that. It's uh, see exactly how this works. So that puts us on number Kaf uh, back here. Uh, so let's go up to the black letters, uh, Miss Patra Besaroy. Uh, opens up, Miss Patra opens up for her the gates. Uh, so, uh, exactly what we mean here. So, now at this point, he says that when Ima starts shining into, that's what I think he means, so shining into the Nukva, he said then open up her gates, that is, I guess, Ima. I'm not sure whether exactly where this is, where, where Ima is shining at this time. Niftachim Sha'ari Yisoda, the Yisoda of the Nukva, the Kabel Tipas Aholeda, in order to be able to receive the Tipa Huleda. Now, uh, excuse me, but I think he's not talking about, uh, he's not talking about the Nukva, he's talking about, he's talking about Ima. Vuhu Sod Chamishim Sha'ari Bina, Haniftachim Bi Sod Ima. So this, the concept, this is this opening up. How does it happen? I don't know. Let's go down below. There's just a little bit here, but then there's an, it's more arichos coming up. So he says, Rei uh, Pirish, so now we're on number Kaf. Behu sod chamishim shari bina. Rei B'Pirish Talmud, he says, What does that mean? And it opens up the gates. That that is her fifty gates open up. Shall ima ad kan laholon, and we're going to get into it more coming up now. So the gates of ima open up and make it possible for her to receive this tipa that we've been talking about. So reading after number, uh, let's see, read after number kof up at the top of the page. After the gates are open now, is where he's at. Let me see. Uh, after the gates are open, the Kabbalahem Oros Abba in order to be able to receive <coughs> the lights of Abba. So we have a number uh, Kof Aleph down below, and we're going to read on that. He says, Look over in the Eitz Chaim, he said, Bezel the Shone to quote, Vine Edel Halamad Beis Nesivos, that we're talking here about these 32 paths. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the thirty thirty two paths of Chachma, Haim Zacharim, and they come from Chachma, Abba. But Noisnim Beima, and then these thirty two paths go into Ima Toch the Mansapach, into her Mansapach. Now we had Mansapach uh, recently before. Again, uh, I get a little mixed up exactly what the Mansapach is, but here's going to come. He says Shehem Nun Sharim. So, uh, Shabal. So that is to say that they, um, that was a word, the nice name, the Ima Toch Mant, this Manpach, Nanzapach, turns into her 50, her 50 gates. Uh, Nun Sharem, uh, Shabal, Ki Kol Achaz Men He Osius Manzapach, Kulula Miyud, Hare Nun. So there's an answer as to where the Nun came from. The Nun came from the Manzapach, which is inside of the Nook. Now, I've been saying that Mansapak represented sweet and dim and dinim, and I'm getting it confused with Ryo, because Ryo apparently is the formula for making a clear. I think that's what it is. 
the Kli and the Nukva, and I forgot what he told us about the Manzabach. So, Velechein Nikva Sha'arim. So, therefore, they're called gates. Why? Yan Heim Pesachim Besuchos, because Besuchim, because they are doors that are open. The Nikavim Shal Ima, and the Shal Nima Hanikra Nikeva. So, the, now this part, I, I'm not sure I could translate it. He says, so their gates are open. The Nikavim really means holes. I don't know, the openings, I don't know. Shal Ima. Hanikva Nekeva, which are called Nekeva. Ki Hanikeva Sharecha Besuchos the Kabo Besucho Nisinis Hachma, so they're open up. So what, what am I missing here with this this translation of the word Nekavim? So she has some kind of a slot, maybe, that the 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 thirty two uh, Nisivas Hachma can pour into Ad Khan. Now maybe I got that right, maybe I didn't. V'chein Bir Khan Bezoyer Chai. Also we have this Zel Deshona V'chatzos Alaylo. And then Ima becomes illuminated. So once again, he says from the Bia Rishona, and, but first of all, he says that this takes place at midnight. Now the midnight, I'm assuming from what we learn elsewhere, is, is that this is a Yichud between, uh, I think it's Yaakov, between Yaakov and Leah. Az Mizdav game Abba Ve'ima that makes a Yichud there at that time though we're not talking about Yaakov and Leah which would be Zohar Venuk we're talking about Abba Ve'ima takes place a nude a new the so be a Rishona and it's like a first time that there's being going to be a if between Abba and Ima La Sosa in order to make her a Kli Bisnehira Ima and it causes her to light up a Mispatcha Bisaroi. And this also leads to the opening of her gates. Now, when she becomes a Kli, then are made these 50 gates. Shalah, or her 50 gates. Uh, he says, So they're, I think that's Rechavim. Yeah, Rechavim, they're broad. And opened up. Pesach Patuach. It's the old open door kind of concept. <laughs> Whatever. So her gates open up. See, this is my question. Thing in reading this is, is he talking about the gates at the top that open up in order to be able to receive from Abba? Or is he talking about the gates down below which are going to give birth? So which is it? But here he says that it's actually the Mansapach is coming into her and it opens up 50 gates. And then the Lamed Bates comes into that. He says, And that's apparently a Shartanta. Shartanta, I don't recall seeing that. But anyway, That it becomes an opening, the opening process of her gates. I'd gone. Now, where did the chatzis alayla come in there? Who the fi darko sham? This is what the Rebbe had been saying, the Rav had been saying over there. Akla in yaneinu, but what, in regards to what we're talking about, mevor be'etzchaim. It says over there now, the ayre be bia rishona. That really the focus here is on the first bia, the abba ve'ibah ve'bris ve'bris ha'olam canal. Now that whole phrase there. First of all, he went out the way. He started to make a, like a disclaimer. Uh, let's go back to the word ad ye'id ye'in yaneinu, also according to what our discussion. What is our discussion? Mavur be'itz chaim, it says over there, Hanal, the Irish of Abir is shown that it's talking about this first yichud. That's the one that takes place at midnight. The Ava ve'im be'bri'as ha'olam. And then he adds in, in the bri'as ha'olam, which I'm not sure what to do with that, but that's what he said. He says that the creation began, let's say, so to speak, at midnight, uh, with the Abba uh, bringing the Mansapach into into Ima. Is that what it is? Or he's got the Mansapach, and he brings it, opens up her fifty. That causes the opening of fifty gates. Malaman base and the come in, and either that causes the fifty gates, or the fifty gates were there before. I'm not sure. Let's read a little bit more. 
So after the word, uh, so this Yichud, the Kabbal Bechem Oris Abba, V'niftachim l'hashpia l'mata b'sod chamishim shari bina, and then the kavana here, they open up in order to pour out b'sod chamishim shari bina in the secret of these 50, 50 gates of bina. So which way is pouring? As I said, that's what I said before. Rebbe Shara Pesukim, so look over this, and, and he wants to focus on the idea that this is making her into a kli. So now he says every chesed has has here he's talking about mansapach mansapach adenim. So he says now he says ki call and who is reading here on the pilkusim the shavkas anyway ki call chesed kalu measer every chesed has five within it. Harei chamishin that makes fifty. Be'ida chem chamishi sharim bina sheyotzim min ashar min ashar. That all of these, now he's coming down to the Yisod of Ima, these Chemishim Shari Bina that come out from the gate that is open, that actually opens up uh, the Yisod, that is the Yisod of Ima. So now we're back in the Yisod of Ima, Ad Khan. So he said, Re Gam Abelikuti Torah, he says over there. He said, "V'zel l'shon v'ki chamisha chasadim kol echad kol melasara heim chamishi shari bina are the are in fact the fifty gates of bina. Shehem yordin mishari bina because they come these fifty gates they come down me shari bina from the sharim of bina. Shehu hayisod the ima shaniftach which is what is the so he says the yisod is not just the yisod it's got fifty gates, but this concept of gates a little little vague." exactly where it came from. So he says, Ashiniftach, but we understand that it has to do with the Mansapach and it has to do with the Lamed based the Sivos. Uh Chasadim and then come out from this uh, fifty Chasadim Ad Khan. So he said Vihine Afsha Nizgar Khan He Chasadim, even though we're mentioning the five Chasadim. So he uh Kah Hu Gam Bakinis Gavura, but at the same time it's, uh, excuse me, Behe Gevuros. So it's also five Gevuros. Look at the Isab Eitzchaim. We have that over in the Eitzchaim. He says, This is what it says over there. He says, He ne chamishim sh'arim shebebina heim he Gevuros shebal kol echad kolom masara. So now we have one one Manda Omer saying that it's 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 chasadim, but at the same time it's Gevuros. Gam yesh chamishim sh'arim Mehei chasadim, so you have that too. Call echad kol mechasara. Once again, hey mechemishim ad kan. So there's the fifties have to do with zochav and there's some male and female aspect of chasadim and gavuros. Vehine kol hashef a chazechad nistam b'soch zer anpin. So all of it winds up stopping in zer anpin. It flows into zer anpin. Kamosh vur behemshech. We're going to see that mode b'soch umakasia pischa. So there was something way back, way back where we talked about uh, the closing, closing. Miss, so he says, Miss um, Patcha. Okay, let me get a drink here. We're going to go to the back of the book and try to pick up a little bit here to get started. And there's where we're at right now. So we went to the back. I got the wrong one. I got the wrong one. Okay, wait a minute. I'm here. I just have to answer the phone. Okay, I got confused there. Uh, okay, so let's go over to, um, if you want, we could read across the top. So that's the subject that we're going at to, uh, to right now. He says, um, number Aleph, he says, once again, he call, he call, he calls this with the creation of the world. I'm not really sure what he, you know, what the implication of this is versus anything else. This, in other words, he says at the very beginning of the physicality, this is what happens. He says, "Is yachid yud belechudoi." So we had said previously that they become separated. Salik bedivre bedargo laela laela. We had that idea also. Goes up and up. Is chashka nukva. When that happens, the nukva becomes totally dark. Bisnehiras benisnehiras ima. Then ima shines into her, and Miss Patka and then opens up her gates. 
So let's see what we can, can in the little bit of time we have left. Uh, now that whole concept, that this is the very beginning of the Yichud that's going to lead to us. He's a Klaus Abir, the general idea here, Babir of Meshul of the Fiarizal. Al Hem Shech Asifra Dutzniuta, as we go on, Al Sod Haperik, Al Sod Haperik, Sof Haperik, excuse me. He says, Nisyas in Al Pi Divir Arizal, this all is coming according to the words of the Ri. Become a Makomas, and he really spoke about this in many different places. Shabir the Ire Khan Babir Rishonda the Abba Vibba Babriya Saola that here it's talking about the very first uh, first Yihud that takes place between Abba Vima at the again at the Briya of the Olam. Now again, uh is there, uh, is is this a, is this in the year, year zero uh before the five thousand seven hundred eighty three where we're at right now? When, when does he mean at the time of the Briya Sa'olam? He says, V'oz nasan abba be'ima be'chinez rucha. He puts in her, her rucha. Now, I saw, incidentally, in another place, uh, that the word ruach is actually the gematria of the milui of Elohim. It's so number 218. So, that has something to do with, you know, limiting down in some way, like during Elohim, says Gavura. So he puts a rucha inside of her. And then she becomes a kli, and she's able to receive the tipa that ultimately is going to give birth to Zohar Vanok. Then this, this aspect of the rucha really continues on and goes into Zeranpin. So then that's it. Now it does rhyme a little bit with the idea that I saw in the Rishash that the word Rucha, Ruach really comes from the Milui of Elohim because what you're doing is you're making it possible for it to get more physical. Uh, let's see, we have just this little number, Aleph, Ezech, and Nikra, Zivug, the Kli, Verucha. So he just wants to say, what is this called? This is Zivug of Kli, Verucha. Now let's take one more. We have like three minutes. Behindah Rizal beer rock lushan hemshech a mimer awesome miftacha the the kalil shis. So the only thing is to explain now what the Uri talks about is when this this uh this key comes and the key which has six notches in it let's say ad sofa parak until the end the osib is there anpin the there <clears throat> he's talking about Zer Anpin, a Makabal as Shef Rucha, and now who ultimately is, a, let's say he's he's a recipient of the same Rucha. Min Ima Ein Shom. Akma Mela, move on the Alpi Zerat Sarak the Farish Divir Hasifrit, it's Niusach Shadafan of Is Nehira Ima. Now we have to spend some time and talk about what it means that Ima becomes illuminated with the light of the 32. He said the Ira Basod Hashpas Haku Rucha La Ima that really there what you're talking about, the lining up, it's the spread of the, the flow down, the Haku Rucha into Ima, and as that Ruach lights her up. Bal Derek Zechabamuva, now you can understand this. Uh Shayesh the Vyar Gam Shar Lushonas Asifra to the Yutza, but we have to go through all the rest of the languages over here. So I guess he wants to say that the Uri really just wants to talk about that Rucha. He says, "A sifra that's in the use of the fenenu, the kol ayre bebrias oylem." That this is really talking about the very beginning of the creation of the world. Of the inyan bia rishon the abba veima vezer anpit the nukve. Thank you, Rabbi. That's it for today. Call to.